Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mike here, Mike's Weather Page, and it is September 1st, getting into the peak month of the season. If we're going to have one, September, October could be pretty uh, busy. Um, we're going to do a quick little chop update. We're definitely trying to figure out YouTube and um, see what you guys like over here. Uh, so I'm going to try something a little different, leave this solid screen up. And talk a little bit keep it short under three four minutes uh just kind of give a rundown of the tropics what's going on see if you like it if you don't then we'll try something else <laughs> um so we got a few things out there um here's the closest thing this is invest 91 they're calling it and uh if you recall it's been all the way from africa the last week it's very uh, unorganized right now and it uh, doesn't really have any mid-level circulation in it. The general uh, steering flow out in the Atlantic is it's going to go this way in the next couple days. Some of this rain here along the monsoonal trough could end up you know, hitting lower Lesser Antilles, Trinidad, some of our Caribbean friends. But the main core of our system is um, heading off west-northwest. So there is a very, very rough road ahead coming for Invest 91. There's a lot of wind shear and dry air. And it's got to pass through this little area to get on the other side. The question is, some of the models had it reforming and doing a recurve. The recent trends have been south of Bermuda. However, history tells you this. A weaker system sometimes just trucks along a little more west uh, because it's not influenced much by upper level winds. The latest CMC and the latest Euro, the 12Z, are showing a reformation a little bit farther uh to the west and getting it awfully close to the bahamas and florida into later next week uh not labor day weekend the weekend after so there's a scenario there if this thing stays weak there could be a chance this thing could get awfully close to the bahamas and florida later next week just keep that in the back of your mind and if it does a recurve that could put bermuda back in play again so none none of this area here is uh set in stone yet um but officially you look at your nhc five day cone and it doesn't go out that far yet but uh, we're just wondering, if this thing stays weak, there's always that chance it could go a little farther west. We did have Tropical Storm Danielle form today. The waters up in this area are about 3, 4, 5 degrees warmer than usual, um, than normal anomaly, anomalies. So makes sense. The waters are warm. There's very little wind uh, shear dry air up that far north in the Atlantic. So kind of odd. It could be a hurricane. Uh, but bottom line is it's just going to sit out here and move just a little bit. It's not going to affect any. It doesn't look like it's going to affect the Azores at all. So it's just sitting out there harmlessly. But it, it's Danielle. Uh, there was another spot in the NHC map. There's a wave right here coming off that uh, has been lowered down to 30% from the NHC. It's going to enter a big old pocket of cold air, uh, cool uh, water, and dry air. So this, this wave doesn't look like it's going to make it. The next question is this. This is this is where we look to two things possibly. We do have a pretty healthy wave uh, coming off of Africa that should emerge sometime Tuesday. Now, the latest couple runs of the CMC and the Euro have had it going uh, pretty much due west. So early next week, Monday, Tuesday, we could have a new wave emerge and it could through the week try to make it its way across. Uh, high pressure could be building back in. And uh, we haven't really had a true low rider this season. So there, there is signs we could see a wave next week trying to come across the Atlantic a little bit lower. First one of the season. So keep that in mind. That's been showing up on the models uh, on that. So that's got my attention. And then lastly, um, we got a lingering front here across Texas going across to the Atlantic. So this lingering front starting this weekend, Labor Day weekend, we're talking Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It uh, rains from Texas, Louisiana. This front's just going to sit there lingering. Uh, we could have double-digit rains for parts of Texas, maybe even Louisiana some. Uh, sometimes these lingering fronts get tricky. Uh, we are seeing a, a system possibly coming up out of the Pacific that might end up turning back through Texas. That's going to aid the moisture. Uh, and sometimes these little lingering fronts can can spit off a little low pressure area um, and, and I'm really feeling this year that we're going to see more homegrown systems that, that really aren't showing up on models that pop up at the last second so there's going to be a lot of juice here uh, next week and a little bit of Pacific energy could be sliding over to watch later next week so that's nothing showing up on models just kind of putting it out there that, that I've seen that in the past so so there you go we'll do one of these tomorrow I, I kind of like the big map picture if you like this like it share it and uh, I'll do it every day if, uh, if it works here on YouTube, okay? 
So that's it. Have a great evening. We'll see you tomorrow, Friday. Bye-bye.